Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of November. So I would say that this could be a whole November reading or at any time in November, okay? So if it doesn't resonate right now, check it out later. I will have a better setup here coming soon. I just haven't had a chance to, to do it yet. Um, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up for the sign of Taurus. And please bear with me. I'm going to read these cards intuitively. This reading is for somebody, not everybody. So really keep that in mind. We get some people that don't realize that. And I'm just here to say this reading is for somebody. We don't know who. <laughs> That's funny. This is the Ten of Swords. Trying to figure out what happened, right? I mean, she's got she's doing a tarot reading. Trying to figure out what happened. You may be trying to figure out how did this happen? You may have received some communication or you may be receiving some conflicting communication. You know, or or some some sort of truth may have been revealed um, that makes you feel unstable. You may feel at a loss. This is the nine of pentacles reversed. You may feel like, or it's the six of pentacles reversed. You may feel like um, things are unbalanced. And there is some sort of loss. Now. This is the king of, of uh, swords reversed. You could be, you know, not seeing something clearly. That's for darn sure. And you're trying to figure out what it is. You're trying to, what the heck, confused. It looks like you may be feeling confused over something. You've received some sort of information from somebody. You may have heard some gossip. Or somebody was sneaking around, you know, and now you've, be, you know, let's get some more cards. Because this is like, she's kind of sneaky by the look on her face. I mean, this is the Page of Swords, so the Page of Swords could definitely be sneaky. Four of Swords reversed. Somebody may be wanting to come back. Or maybe somebody has has decided that they were, they're coming back. And you're like, what the fuck? You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is the Queen of Cups reversed. Or you may just be feeling like, oh my God, this is too... You may be feeling a little bit... Over the emotional emotional of the over this, okay. I mean, something has hurt because of that ten of swords. There's been some pain, okay, and you're trying to figure this out. And it looks like somebody may be coming back. I mean, it looks like somebody's coming back. They're trying to anyway, but they were abusive at one point. What the? F oh, all I can say is WTF. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Ace of Fire. Ace of Wands. Oh my God! Somebody wants a new beginning now. There is an opportunity for fertilization here. Okay, I mean, look at this shit. That's like a sperm. <laughs> I mean, that's what I saw. 
So, I mean, come on now. And this is the Ace of Wands. So this is like fertilization. It's like something is beginning. It's the beginning of a new life. And that's the egg. It's like it's penetrated the egg. I mean, be careful. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to get pregnant, I'm just here to say, just be careful. But it doesn't have to be about pregnancy. This could just be a new beginning, a new life, a new beginning in life. Oh, my gosh. And you're conflicted about this new this offer, right? You're conflicted. It's like the Six of Pentacles reversed. It's like... Damn. This is uneasy with these two cards. You may be feeling really uneasy about this. Two of Wands reversed. I'm not sure I want to go down this road. You, you're probably scared. You're probably like, I'm not sure this is a safe bet. You know, you want to come back? Is this safe? Is this real? All of a sudden, you know, somebody has got you in your in your emotions and you're very... This may be a little overwhelming. It is a little overwhelming. Seven of Wands reversed. You may be like... I don't believe you. You may be like, you know what? I don't believe anything that you say. You may you may be really defensive when with this new offer. You may be like, hmm. There's been so much criticism in the past. Six of Cups, son of a bitch. Oh God. <laughs> so part of my English, but we have this past. The Six of Cups is the overall outcome. Somebody from your past, and I have to clarify somebody from your past. It could be a lover, right? It could be. But it could be somebody that you went to school with. It could be somebody that you grew up with. It could be somebody from your hometown. And there's an opportunity with somebody that you have known before for a passionate new beginning, for a, something to start that could really, really grow pretty rapidly. Grow into something um, alive, really alive, okay? So there's an opportunity for some sort of new beginning that is causing you to feel unbalanced right it's shaking you up with that six of pentacles reverse it's really going to shake you up um i think that you are going to receive a message with that page of swords that causes a lot of inner conflict within you about which path that you should take with the two of wands the two of wands is you're at a crossroads do you go back to the past or do you move forward into the future so you have to make a choice you have to make a decision. You Somebody has been on break. Somebody hasn't been around. And it looks like now they want to come back. And I hate to, I hate to give this kind of message. Um, and you're probably going to need to make a, make a choice. Are you going to give to this or not? Um, we have this, this King of Swords up here. In reverse, this person ha may have uh, treated you unfairly in the past. You know, treated you unfairly in the past. And now you don't know if this is safe. You're not sure if this is safe. So you may be really unsure if you should let your guard down and <sighs> communicate with this person. Now this Ten of Swords is, is some serious betrayal here. You're trying to figure this out. You're probably like, oh my God. And it hurts too because there was there was love here because the six of cups is, is love and the mother of cups. I mean, even if it's reversed, there was some love here. There's memories. There's memories with this six of cups. But there's also memories of betrayal and being left behind. 
and that hurts. So what is this? What is this? What is this four of swords in reverse? It's like somebody is coming out of hiding. I'm coming back, maybe. They want to give you an offer, right? All of a sudden, I mean, somebody has an offer for you. An offer of a new foundation. And you don't know what to do. You've it's it's like I think you This is something you've been wishing for. This looks like a wishing well to me. You've probably been waiting for this. You've been wishing for something and it's it's coming to fruition. Somebody wants to put, give, give it one more chance. We have the Nine of Wands. Somebody is asking for another chance. They don't, they're not ready to give up at this point. You may have a man that is coming in. to fight for you. I mean, this is the wounded warrior, the nine of wands. It's like this man is, is wanting to fight for you now. Things have been chaotic in their life. Things have been turned upside down. And they've gained some wisdom. Now they're coming forth with the truth. This is the justice card. They're coming forth to do the right thing. It's like they finally realized that your soulmates, right? They finally realized that you're the missing piece, that you're the one. That you're the one that can balance them out I feel as though somebody is a, is coming forth because they have made the decision that you are the one that brings them balance and harmony and peace peace of mind and they can't stop thinking about you. This is somebody from the past. Please, God. Six of Swords. You're, you're planning on moving on and you're trying to move on. You're thinking about moving on. Now, we have all these sixes. Six, six, six. Six, six, six. Sixes is a time of reevaluation. It's about making a choice in regards to what is going to bring you balance and harmony. I feel like we have somebody here that is coming into your life because they see that you are balanced. They see that you are generous. 
they see that you are the one that can get them to a better place because the sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. And it's about time of reevaluation. So anyway, somebody has decided that they have waited long enough and they don't want to miss this opportunity and that they were treated somebody unfairly. They've gained s some karmic wisdom. Okay, with the Justice card. And now they are finding their strength with the Nine of Wands to come forth and offer another chance. He's holding that Ace right here. He is. He's holding that Ace of Wands. That new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning, Taurus. Somebody wants to have a beginning with you. I don't know if it's somebody new or somebody old, but it's somebody that you've known before. That's for damn sure. It is absolutely somebody that you've known before. And this is a heavy decision with that Justice card and the King of Cups. I mean, the Queen of Cups reversed in there. You have to make a, a heavy decision. And I see that you're weary about it with the Seven of Wands reverse. It's like, there's I've had to walk on eggshells before. I don't want to walk on eggshells. I don't I don't want to play games. The Two of Pentacles reverse. I don't want to play games. Somebody may be coming with an apology. This is the Maiden of Earth, basically the Page of Pentacles. Somebody is coming forth. They have found their moral backbone to do the right thing. This could also be a new offer. You could be receiving a message. You are going to receive a message either way. You're going to receive a message from somebody with a solid offer. They consider us, they're being real. Okay, they're, they're not lying to you now. They're giving you, they're, they're, they're telling you the truth, okay? They are. With this, this page of swords and this page of, of uh, pentacles. They're, they're telling you the truth. Somebody's coming to you with the truth after a period of like ghosting you or whatever. They ghosted you. They left you for dead, whatever. And all of a sudden they are here with some sort of offer. And here we have the Two of Swords reversed. The lies have been exposed. The, the, the truth has been exposed. They've made a decision to tell the truth. Somebody has made a decision to tell the truth, Taurus. Justice is about to be served in your favor. Has something to do with somebody from your past. That wants to have a chance. Like I said... Somebody from the past does not mean that it was your ex. It, it very well could be. But this could be somebody that you grew up with a long time ago that is now coming forth after they walked away from somebody that treated them unfairly. Because somebody's been treated unfairly, they walked away from it. And they've been wishing for something. Wanting more out of a relationship or wanting more out of life. And they're moving forward towards balance and harmony because they take action. Somebody is taking action, there's no doubt. Somebody is going to send you some sort of message that is solid and genuine. That could lead to something very, very... Passionate and fertile and exciting. So, 
Taurus has a message coming in from somebody that wants to, you know, make a life. <laughs> somebody wants to make a life with you. They want to, they want to, they want to make a life with you, whether they, you know, you become one or you make a baby or whatever. Somebody wants to make a life with you. And it's set, it's, 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 to me, it's like destined. You see the planets, I mean. And you have to make a complex decision. You do. Look at the scales. This is the seven of cups, but there's scales. It's like, sun. and this is all about balance and harmony. This is all about balance and harmony and keeping things in order. You're trying to keep things in order. But that, and these are just like angels' wings. This is a gift. This is absolutely a gift. It's something that you really, really want. And now you're being fa faced with this decision. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready to make this decision? What are you going to do? You may feel like this is unstable, ungrounded. I mean, this is you. You got your arms up in the air like, I'm confused. And this is confused. This is going to cause a major confusion here. That's for damn sure. You may feel like this, is, this isn't a wise decision at all. Well, we have another six. It's the lover's card. It's an unexpected partner coming into your life. Somebody, there, there, somebody is coming into your life this month and it's a perfect match. It's a reason to celebrate. It's a match made in heaven. But it's going to change your life. And you may need to you may need to have courage. You may, you may need to have courage to allow this to happen. Okay, you're going to need some courage. Just, there's like, just go for it. Just go for it. You've been contemplating this, this never happening. You know, it's like I thought this was never going to happen. This has caused you a lot of despair, worry, anguish, sleepless nights. It's like, look at, I mean, there's a noose. The Nine of Swords. This is like been a near death experience that you have been through. Just about killed you, didn't it? I feel like you guys have somebody from your past that is coming back to 
make you an offer and you um, will need to have courage to accept it. I'm not sure that you will. I'm not sure that you will. There's an opportunity between two paths. Absolutely, there is. You have to make a choice between your past and your future. You may have an opportunity between two people. Put it that way. Okay. You could have an opportunity between two men or two women or whatever, and you have to make a choice because I see a lot of choices needed here. Okay, there is. With the Justice card, the Lover's card, the Seven of Cups card, the Two of Wands card, you have to make a choice between two. We have somebody from your past that is coming back. They want another chance. And we have somebody, and I hate to give that message. I, I absolutely, positively do, especially for Taurus. Because I have been betrayed. Like this Ten of Swords. I have been treated unfairly. So, we have a man here that is willing to fight with you. Fight with you, yeah, and for you, okay? We have a man that's willing to fight for you with that Knight of Wands. You have to decide which one it is. With the Lover's card, you do. You have to make a decision between two. I know that you do. One of them is an untrustworthy individual. And the other one is telling you the truth. Oh my God. The Ace of Cups. You have an offer of love coming in that is meant to be. You absolutely, positively do. This could even be a reconciliation or it could be a new love. It's something you have absolutely been stressing about anyway, thinking you were never going to find it. But now you have to have the courage to accept this partnership. Even if somebody did belittle you and treated you unfairly, there's an opportunity for love and passion and growth and to start a new life with a partner. You choose who it's going to be because you have two choices. You do. Expect the unexpected. Look at this shit. It's meant to be. I see you, you see me. We are meant to be. So I think we have a we have a partnership here that is coming about that is probably going to cause you a little bit of emotional upset because you have to make a stressful decision, a stressful choice between two people. Yikes. We do definitely have two, okay? We do have two. Whoa! Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yikes. 
stay optimistic above your, about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Think positive. Don't let the past hurts, the past abuse hold you back from accepting this soulmate. Okay? Because, I mean, take a look at this. This is a soulmate connection. Stay positive. Have no fear. Have no fear. Somebody left you in the cold in the past. They left you wondering. They left you discontent. That's a red flag. You have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. Don't forget. But stay optimistic. That's as toughy, isn't it? Ooh. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You're about to get into a commitment, Taurus. You are. There's love. There is love here for you this month. Choose wisely. You have to make a complex decision between two. Don't let the past abuse hold you back from this passionate new beginning to start a new life in love. Because there's an opportunity for true love to blossom in November. With who? We have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have water, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. And we have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. That's what I see. Good luck. Oh, bastard. Excuse my language. I just happened to look on the bottom. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Have no fear. Let it grow. Maybe you'll get married in nine months. <laughs> Good luck.